Welcome to this introduction to EFT. EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Techniques. It is a form of energy medicine. EFT is accelerating the way human beings are healing on this planet. Before I teach you how to do EFT on yourself, I'd like to share with you some of my personal experience using EFT to help me resolve some very serious pain. And I also want to share with you a couple of research studies that have been done on EFT so that you understand the power of this gift that you are about to receive. study group of 83 people and they divided these people into three separate groups. All of them were experiencing some kind of anxiety or depression, light depression. And so the first group, they just told them to sit down and relax um, for an hour. And the second group, you know, they were given uh, an hour of talk therapy. And the third group was given an hour EFT session. They took blood before, um, before the, the hour session began and they took blood after. First group didn't experience much uh, drop in their stress level. Second group experienced about 14% mm, drop in the stress level. And the third group, the group that got uh, an hour of EFT, experienced a 24% drop in the cortisol level, in the stress hormone. Uh, and in addition to that, the EFT group also experienced the highest drop in terms of their symptoms of um, anxiety and slight depression. EFT is accelerating the way human beings are healing on this planet. Several years ago, I was in a lot of physical pain. I found myself um, getting these body aches, uh, joint pain, uh, and it seemed to be getting more and more uh, intense every single day. Uh, of course, I went to the doctor and they said it could be the onset of arthritis. I tried several different things until I came upon EFT. Um, I went to the website, I downloaded the manual, and it was what inspired me was that they said it was a self-healing modality. You could do it on yourself. It was very simple. Often people had permanent results and it sounded like the thing that I was looking for. I was looking for a healing. And I had knee pain, I had lower back pain, and I had um, hip pain. Um, but in five days, I managed to get myself completely out of physical pain with EFT. I want to share with you a personal story of using EFT not just for a physical, uh, physical ailments but for an emotionally upsetting situation just so you can see the power of EFT uh, in both arenas. This was a few months ago I was walking on the Upper West Side in Manhattan and I came across this lovely Indian, Indian store um, and it had all of the things that I love in the windows and I just wa walked around the shop looking at the things and then I wanted to try on a couple of lovely tops and um, the woman said to me, she said, you know, um, you're not going to buy anything in this store. You're just fooling around in my store. And I was completely and utterly shocked. And then, you know, when these things happen, um, there's something that kicks in. Um, it could be ancestral. I don't know what it is, but it kicks in and it tells the tongue what to say. And we... I, I tell you, within a matter of seconds, this, this, this Indian, this East Indian woman and I were shouting at each other in the store. It felt like it lasted forever, but it was just a, a few seconds and then I just walked out of the store. But I was so shaken by that experience that I went home and I began to tap on the, the anger, um, the feelings of anger, the feelings of um, being misunderstood, being accused of something falsely. Uh, I also tapped on the disappointment with myself that I would um, 
just so quickly engage in that way with her. So you have these ancestors that we carry with us in our energy field, even though their bodies are gone, the energy of our ancestors we walk with, we carry it with us, it's a part of us. So there's, there are these beautiful moments in EFT tapping uh, sessions when a person could be dealing with a physical pain, um, a chronic pain, and then you have this sense that it's not theirs. They're carrying it for the ancestors. So I reached that point in my own personal tapping session on this uh, situation in the Indian store. I reached that point when I realized the pain that was mine and the pain that I was carrying for my ancestors. And I was able to tap on those two issues, what was mine, what was ancestral, and release it to clear the energy field. And then there was another extraordinary moment um, that often happens in energy medicine, EFT um, sessions, where um, not only was I able to see and experience my own ancestral pain, a door of compassion was opened in me, and I was able to sense and feel her pain, her historic pain, the pain of her ancestors, the pain that uh, colonialization had caused in her family line, and I was, did some tapping on behalf of her ancestors and her family. And at the end of that tapping session, I got to this point of um, total calm, total acceptance, and total forgiveness. The power of EFT is its ability to help us resolve not only our own personal pain and suffering, but the pain and suffering of our ancestors, and to use that compassion and forgiveness that we find in the process of freeing ourselves to help other people free themselves. It's extraordinary the opportunity that this is presenting us. This study was done in Rwanda several years after the cultural genocide that took place there in 1994. One million people were murdered in 100 days. This massacre, this cultural genocide, left 800,000 children without parents. And several years after the massacres occurred, EFT practitioners went to the one particular orphanage, 188 children suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. Many of these children had seen their parents murdered and their whole families murdered. Some of these children were actually tortured, maimed, and even raped themselves. These children had one session with EFT practitioners. That's just one session of EFT. 94% of those children no longer had the symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder. How wonderful is that? In 2008, the founder of EFT, Gary Craig, invited some veterans to California to participate in a five-day uh, intensive to help them resolve some very, very serious symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder. Some of the vets were uh, young men who had uh, participated in more recent wars, and several of the vets were Vietnam vets who had been suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder symptoms for over 30 years. At the beginning of the film, you saw these vets assembled in a room together, and there was one particular one who really caught my attention because he looked so tortured and tormented. He looked like he'd much rather be someplace drinking himself to death than being in this room full of vets talking about EFT and the possibility of healing. By the end of that movie, this young man, his face was filled with hope. He had. He had light in his eyes, light was streaming out of his eyes, and he said, you know, I feel like I've taken the trash out. I feel like I've taken the trash out. And he said before, uh, before EFT, it was hard for him, it was weird for him to even say that he felt happy, but now he could finally say that. What energy medicine can do, it really uh, is very powerful in terms of getting into the human energy field, 
neutralizing the unresolved negative emotions that we carry on put many issues in our lives is able to gently realign the human energy field so that the emotional and energetic debris that we carry from our past experience is finally able to be resolved so that we can get on with this life. Most of the people who are going to be watching this video, learning EFT, uh, are just regular people, you and I, just people trying to get through our lives. We are not people who have really, really intense issues like the veterans had, like the children in Rwanda. But I give those examples because I want you really to understand the power of this gift that you are about to receive. EFT is done in two parts. The first part deals with any kind of subconscious resistance we may have to getting better, to improving our condition. So this first tapping point, it's called the karate chop point. It's on the side of the hand, um, right where the joint of the little finger, uh, between the joint of the little finger and the wrist joint on the fleshy part of the hand karate chop point and we gently gently tap on this point as we create a setup phrase and that setup phrase would go something like this say for example if you're dealing with a headache you would say state the problem even though I have this headache I accept myself anyway even with this headache I love accept and forgive myself even with this headache I accept myself absolutely. So any variation of those three very, very powerful ideas, I love myself, I accept myself, I forgive myself, will really um, help you to neutralize any kind of sub subconscious resistance that you may be carrying about any ailment uh, that you may have. All right, and the next point is the eyebrow point. And it's not on the, in, the, in the center of your forehead where the third eye is, but it's on the side where the hair on the eyebrow begins to grow. So um, on both sides, you can, each, you can use either side or both sides. Use two fingers, tap on that point where the hair on the eyebrow begins to grow very very gently because you're tapping into the human energy field you don't need a lot of pressure all right and your breathing you might notice your breathing begin to deepen all right so the next point you just follow the bone along the eye to the side of the eye you want to make sure your two fingers are on the same line as the eyeball so you're feeling for that bone right on the side of the eye and gently, gently tap again with two fingers. Become aware of your breathing. Excellent. And then you're going to follow that bone under the eye, right under the eyeball. Again, feel for that bone and gently, gently tap there. And then we're working our way down the face. That will help you to remember these points. The next point is under the nose. Beautiful. And then the next point is under the mouth, right in that indentation, right under the mouth. And then the next point is called the collarbone point. So you just feel for the collarbone and go a couple inches below the collarbone and use four fingers for this point because, because it's very practical. If you miss the point with one finger, you'll get it with one of the other three. Very gently. And then the next point is called under the arm. So you uh, raise your arm from the armpit. You go about four inches below the armpit. For women, it's right on your bra line. For men, it's just about four inches below the armpit. And you use all four fingers on the side of the body and tap gently on that point.
And then the next point, it's a very important point, it's under the breast, it's the liver point, it corresponds to the liver, and it deals with issues of forgiveness, self-forgiveness and the forgiveness of others. So we gently, you find it by uh, going just a couple of inches, for men it's just a couple of inches below the nipple, for women it's a couple inches below the nipple, just feel for your bra line, it's right on the bra line. Gently, gently tap with four fingers, will be fine. Wonderful. And the final point is called the crown of the head. In Chinese acupuncture, this point is called the meeting place of a thousand ancestors. Because many of the, um, uh, the meridians, the energy, um, the, they're like energy pathways in the body um, that carry our human energy, that carry the chi, all of those points meet at the top of the head, the crown of the head. This is a very, very powerful point. Wonderful. So there you have the basic EFT tapping points and from there you can go as far as your imagination will take you. You can use these, uh, this, um, these tapping points for a wide range of physical ailments as well as emotional issues. Anything that you are ready to release, ready to be free of, you can find uh, an extraordinary amount of emotional freedom with EFT. I'm going to teach you how to use this technique on specific ailments that you may have. Um, so I just want you to tune in to yourself and come up with any ailment that you um, that is causing you some discomfort right at this time. And I want you to give it a rating on a scale of 0 to 10. How intense is it for you? 0 means it's not a problem, not an issue at all. 10 means it's very, very intense in pain or in discomfort. Okay, and you can pause the tape if you need more time. Okay, so I want you to take that issue, uh, write it down, just basically what it is, and write the number of the intensity next to it. As you tap the karate chop point, I want you to repeat after me. I'm going to say, even though I have this, I want you to say the phrase, and I'm going to leave a blank, you fill in the blank whatever the issue is that you're dealing with, and the, then continue to repeat the phrase after me. So go to the karate chop point, gently, gently tap with four, all four fingers. Even though I have this, I love, accept, and forgive myself. Even though I have this, I love, accept, and forgive myself. Even with this, I love, accept, and forgive myself. And three times is usually enough. All right, so we'll go to the uh, eyebrow point now, and I'll say this, and you say, you repeat after me, this, and just fill in the blank. This. Side of the eye, this. Under the eye, this. Under the nose, this. Under the mouth, this. Collarbone point, this. Under the arm, this. Under the breast, this. And the crown of the head, this. Take a nice, slow, and deep breath. And now I want you to check in with the original issue and see if the number has decreased in any way. 
often when people are dealing with pain and tap on pain issues, um, the, they find that the pain shifts to other locations in the body. The pain that we carry, say, in our, 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 our neck could have been pain that was stored there um, based on some trauma that we had back in our history. And so it's a fascinating technique, this energy medicine. So I wish you luck. Uh, I hope you're able to resolve all of your ailments. Uh, for some issues that are more complex, uh, I would recommend that you find an EFT practitioner who can help to guide you and really get to some of the uh, deep um, triggers, some of the core issues that may be holding some of the pain, some of the emotional stuff in place. Um, because once you find those triggers and are able to use this tapping um, modality on those core issues, you will get yourself out of a lot of pain, out of a lot of suffering, and um, either decrease it significantly or totally eliminate it from your life. So good luck. I wish you health. I wish you wealth. I wish you love.